Here's my book review of Invisible by Paul Auster. Paul Auster writes fascinating literary novels, which are often baffling. This book presents three interwoven versions of the same story as told by three different narrators. Main character Adam Walker is a young poet in New York. Soon after graduation, he meets a worldly couple at a party, Frenchman Rudolph Bourne and his mistress Margot. Bourne is an international man of mystery. Margot is a seductress. Bourne helps Walker hook up with Margot, and the first plot complication is a love triangle. Bourne pulls Walker into a publishing venture, and then, out of the blue, he murders a man in front of him on the street. He intimidates Walker into helping him cover it up. Walker is now carrying a burden of guilt that will haunt him forever. When he thinks Bourne and Margot are out of his life, Walker has a love affair with his own sister. More guilt. Walker tries to make sense of it all by writing an autobiographical novel. When circumstances prevent him from completing it, he challenges his friend Jim, who is also a writer, to finish the story. Jim then narrates the next part of the book, describing what he's been able to discover about Walker's past. In a third narrative, a French woman named Cécile narrates. She was a minor character earlier in the story, but now she's center stage. She met Walker by way of Bourne. She was in love with Walker and tormented by Bourne. Near the end of the book, she meets up with Bourne, and he tries to pull her into yet another of his traps. This book ends on a final scene that seems to have no connection to Walker's story. Like his protagonist Walker, Auster is a poet. It's up to the reader to find meaning in this concluding image. This plot is complex and not easily understood, but Invisible isn't a pulp fiction whodunit. In the end, you probably don't have all the facts, and the facts you do have may not even be true. Gerald Everett Jones is the author of Bonfire of the Vanderbilts and host of the Get Published Radio Show. 